Hello, I'm Mac, and I think you need a vacation. And I'm going to try to help get you there. If you make under $20 an hour, like this dude, and for like 40 hours a week, and you have a home, whether you're, you own it or you're renting um, your home, and have bills to pay, well, you probably need a vacation if you're in any kind of situation like so, or if you just feel like you need a vacation because of work or family or whatever, I'm going to try to help get you there. And this is how I would do it. Step one, get yourself $200 of spare money that you can go on vacation with. Just $200. And if you live anywhere within 10 hours of, of, of the ocean or your destination, you can go, all right? 200 bucks. Um, two, I'm big on being social. So get yourself some friends that you can trust enough to have a fun time on vacation. And only get enough friends for one vehicle so you can split the gas Help, you, help each other out with food, and just help keep each other company while relaxing. So pick the right friends. <laughs> so, one, $200. Two, get friends. You split the cost, you double up the fun, or triple it, or quadruple it. I don't know what kind of vehicle you have. Maybe you octuple it. Whatever. Next, you gotta think about where you're gonna sleep, where you're gonna stay, right? So I suggest camping for $25 to $40 a month. You can get a pretty decent campsite. And then you have, um, you have a potty, you have a shower, and you have access to firewood most of the time. And all you've got to do is bring a tent or two, and you can sleep. And maybe it's not the best. Maybe you're thinking, hey, Mac... I don't like camping. Well, you know what I don't like? I don't like going on a two-day vacation, spending $250, 10 times the price of that 25 that I mentioned, on my two nights wherever I'm going for a bedroom in a hotel. Don't look at where I am right now. This was paid for. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Think of it, if you just save $200 and you have three friends with you, that's $100 for four nights at a campsite near somewhere that you are going to enjoy yourself for the whole day. And if you don't have a fancy hotel room to go back to every couple hours, maybe you'll stay out and do funner stuff the whole time. All right, think of it that way. That has saved me a lot of money, and that has earned me a lot of fun, all right? So, money, friends, camping. Next, think of the season. Think of the season and what, and what you want to do. If you want to go down to Florida, and it's, it's June right now, guys, um, when I'm making this video. And uh, June's not a bad time to go down to Florida or... North or South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, because no one wants to go when it's getting hot. And if you live in Ohio, like this guy, the weather's hysterical here. So, if it's going to be 110 down there, that's cool. At least I can expect it. So, go somewhere where people aren't really going to want to be, and then you don't have to deal with tourists, even if you're one yourself. But you kind of get the run of the place, and hotels, if you still want to do that, can go down. I've found them with like two bedrooms, 40 bucks a night, split amongst your friends. That's not a bad way to go, especially if you don't like camping. All right, hotels compete with each other when there's no one around, because they have to make money still, even in, in, in the off-season. So... My destination would be the ocean. Doesn't matter where. I'm gonna either gonna camp or I'm gonna find a super cheap hotel room so I can have more fun for less cost. Next, 
if you can't drive down and split the gasoline, or if you don't want to, um, or drive over, I don't know where you are. I don't know where you're going. This is what I do. You could you could book a flight in advance. I know from I think it's I think it's from Toledo, Ohio. You can go down all the way to Florida. Eighty dollar round trip if you book it in advance. I think it's Allegiance um, Airlines. So don't quote me on that, but definitely look it up if Florida is a place you want to go and you're near the Northwest Ohio area or maybe anywhere. That's just the one I know of. $80 round trip to all the way on the um, lower end of the country. Good price, even for me. I would I would take a two-hour flight instead of a 16-hour drive if it only cost me uh, $80. Um, the only catch is you got to stay down there for a week. You leave on Sunday, you come back on Sunday. Oh, no. Now, to make something like that work or make more than a two-day weekend work work get that money save it up get your work days out of the way i've been known to work 10 or 11 days in a row and then use my two days off back to back some workplaces won't let you do that and i'm very sorry to you um you might just have to use vacation days if if you have those and if you can um but if you just talk to your manager and be like hey i really am getting down in the dumps but i like my job but i need vacation i need you to work with me most managers will actually maybe i shouldn't say most a lot of managers will empath empathize with you and be like i feel you dude do that you should go on vacation what can we work out? And then give them your your your, your plan. You're like, I'll work 10 days in a row. And then I'll work 10 days in a row again. Dedicate yourself to work when you're there. And think about how much fun you're going to have. Have a goal. Goals help you get through so much in life. And make vacation your goal for now. Um, another thing. To lower the cost. Don't go to restaurants. Especially fancy ones when you're out. If you're going camping, just buy food at, at like the local um, grocery store or at a Walmart or any like you can find big chain grocery stores pretty much anywhere you go in the United States within like 20 miles. So just fill up your cooler with canned food, um, a loaf of bread, anything you think you would want to eat out of a cooler <laughs> um, and just snack on your way down or make make your own meals it's more fulfilling that way you don't always have time to do that when when you are at your your, your day job and then come home and you're too tired you just pick up fast food making your own food can make you feel good so think of it as part of your vacation really do don't just be like oh, this guy's really crazy he's making vacation seem like a lot of work but having a lot of fun can take a little work sometimes um so think about it think about it get some money get some friends find a campsite um, think about where you want to go and what season it is and think about the weather right think about the weather and then just go with the flow um, and just follow your heart go where you want to but be smart about the price that way you can have a longer trip if you can afford the work days um, for just this less of a cost and then take your own food that's really all you need to do to have a good vacation you could take your bike to a nearby lake and camp there for a, a week a four day weekend three day weekend two day weekend heck if that's all you have make the most of it just have fun but get away don't spend all your days off locked in your bedroom playing on your phone or catching up on hbo or clicking this pen sorry about that guys um only other thing i want to touch base on real quick is someone called hobo ali ali i don't know she's never actually introduced herself in um her videos but she's super duper cool 
and she lives in a van and travels in the United States and national parks and she just works for months at a time um, gets a bunch of money still lives in her van and then takes off again hits the road and it's really really inspiring it's really cool to see um, Allie um, go on her adventures and just explain what she's doing and it's less it's less fun for me to see what she's doing um, than it is to see the passion that she has for what she is doing. Just see how happy she is to live in her van, um, just cruising through 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 the country and making friends, bringing friends with her, and it's just it looks like a great time. So I'll put. Um, um, her name in the description so you can look her up on YouTube and maybe that will inspire you to find a cool vacation spot or maybe go live like Hobo Alley. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please leave a comment and leave a like. And if you didn't, leave a comment and maybe still leave a like. <laughs> Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful life. Be kind to your friends and neighbors and your enemies. Have a good time. Adios. Bye.